When it comes to one of the best strategies to grow your followings and get more leads on Instagram, some of you might not want to admit it, including myself, but we all kind of know it, and that is to post highly targeted content consistently, meaning at least one or even two to three times a day. I know it sounds so hard, and if you're like, how do I even keep up with that? Well, I have the answer for you in this video. Hey everyone, it's Joanna. Welcome back to my channel, the best place to grow your social media management business for digital nomads so you can live a sustainable, freedom-based lifestyle. So subscribe and turn on the bell notification to stay updated on all the latest tips and tricks I have for you. So in this video, I'll walk you through the entire step-by-step -step of how I went from having no idea what I was going to post to speeding up the process and creating an entire month of content in just one day. So if you're a social media manager or an online entrepreneur struggling with posting consistently on Instagram, then please keep watching. This first step is going to set a solid foundation for you for the rest of the process, and that is to identify your content pillars. This step is all about thinking big and getting your ideas down, so don't hold yourself back. What you're gonna do is you're going to write down a list of topics that are most relevant to your niche and your audience. So think about what are some of the things that your ideal audience care about? What are some of the most common questions that they ask? What are they struggling with currently? What are their objections and how you can address them? What are the common mistakes that they usually make and how they can stop making these mistakes? What are some things that I can teach to give my audience a quick win? What social proof do they need to see? What piece of content could I create that relate to my upcoming offers? So as you can see, when it comes to content ideas or content pillars, you don't just wanna post something random, like random quotes or random social media holidays, like World Coffee Day, unless it's directly related to your brand's messaging or random pictures of a cat, right? The point is each content needs to have a purpose behind it, AKA to inspire, to educate or enter entertain or even convert your ideal audience into leads. So take a look at this list here and create content based on these topics. Once you have a list of relevant content pillars, the next step is to distribute them into each day of the month using Canva, which looks like this. And I'm gonna show you how you can create the same for yourself. In Canva, you're gonna click create a design and choose Instagram story. You're gonna get this nine to 16 size uh, sheet. That way you can fit an entire 30 day content plan in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click element and scroll down to the table element. And we wanna choose a the first table because we're making a 30 days content plan. So we need 30 cells. And here by default, you're gonna get four rows. So we're gonna add six more rows into this table. What you can do is you can click the three dots on top and choose add four rows after, as you can see it populate four more rows in there. We want to add two more rows. So you're gonna click the cell on the bottom row and right click that cell again. And you're gonna choose add row after, and we're gonna do the same thing for the next one. We're gonna add row after. I'm gonna change the size of this table so that it looks bigger. Oh, I just accidentally add one more row. You don't have to make each cell perfectly square. Like I said, this is just for planning purposes. So it looks good like this for me. And what I'm gonna do is I want to add date on the top corner for each cell so that I know what day is it for each cell. I'm going to get a square shape and I'm gonna make this a tiny square by sizing it down. Then I'm gonna move this to the top left corner. I'm gonna change this to the color black. Then I will add a text and I'm gonna name it one. Then you're gonna copy this to each cell and change the number. I also like to color coordinate my Instagram feed as well. Therefore, I'm going to put color into each cell so that I know what color I need to use for which day. So I'm going to choose the cell that I wanna add color to. Then I'll choose one of my brand color. And the last step is to add the content pillar into each cell. So to do that, it's very easy. You just need to double click the cell and type in the content pillar that you wanna add for that day. So the first one, I don't know, social proof. 
So if you follow my instructions and add everything into your table, you're going to end up getting something like this. So yeah, that's how you can create a content plan using the table feature on Canva. So I just wanted to quickly add that the table element that I'm using is an exclusive feature for Canva Pro users. Um, while the free Canva version is definitely good for beginner, but if you are a social media manager or someone that creates a lot of social media content online, I definitely recommend you to upgrade your Canva to Canva Pro because the Pro version just takes your design experience to a whole new level. Other than the table features that I was showing you, Canva Pro also offers so many other exclusive features that I can't live without as a social media manager, such as brand kits, magic resize tool, way more templates to choose from, background removers, and the content planner, which I will walk you through how to use it later. So if you wanna level up your design game and try it out for free, use the link in my description box to get yourself a 30 days free trial. I promise you, it will not disappoint. Pro tip for you during this process is make sure you diversify your content pillars as much as you can. Meaning don't post three of the same content pillars in a row because your audience are most likely going to get bored of it. So instead space them out as much as you can. So let's say every Tuesday, you're gonna post a common mistake that your audience make or every other Friday, you're gonna post a social proof. So that way your content are going to be a lot more diverse. Now, once you have organized your content pillars, the next step is to bash the content. First of all, in case you're not familiar with the concept content batching, it's basically a productivity technique to create a bunch of content in advance in order to speed up your workflow and save you time. So instead of spending that hour planning, creating, publishing one Instagram post every single day, you will spend that hour batching an entire week or even month of content. I found that the most efficient way of batching is to batch in chunks. What I mean by that is you need to work on one type of task in one chunk of time. The reason for that is once you've started doing one task, it's much easier to continue doing that same kind of task instead of switching between different tasks back and forth. But this is just easier for our brain. So I'm gonna give you an example. There are essentially three main types of content on Instagram. One, video content, which includes Reels, Instagram TV, which you used to call IGTV. And second type of content is graphic content, which includes single posts, carousel posts, covers of Reels, and Instagram TV. And last but not least, written content, which is captions. So with my batch in chunk techniques, what you're gonna do is, during one chunk of time, write out all the caption, then during another chunk of time, create the graphics. Then last but not least, during another chunk of time, you're gonna spend all that time filming and editing videos. This is my exact strategy for creating a lot of content in a short period of time. It has worked so well for me, so I highly recommend you guys to try it out. While I'm batching content, I also organize everything I batch using a calendar that I've created on Airtable, and I'm able to share this calendar with my clients so that they can work with me to approve my work or give me advice or suggestions of my posts. So if you wanna learn how to create an Airtable content calendar, Calendar, just like this one, there's an entire detailed step-by-step -step tutorial inside my paid program, Social Nomad Academy. So if you wanna learn how to sign up for Social Nomad Academy, click the link in my description box for more details. So far, we talked about how I plan, organize, and batch the content. Now, how do I actually mass schedule all of the content that I produce so that I don't have to always be on my phone posting it every single day? Well, you might be surprised by my answer, and that's because a lot of you probably think that I use Facebook Creator Studio or other scheduling apps like Later, Planoly, or Buffer. Well, I used to, and I love these apps, but ever since I upgraded to Canva Pro, I have been enjoying the content planner feature within Canva Pro. Since I create a lot of graphics using Canva, I might as well just schedule them using Canva directly so I don't have to switch back and forth between different scheduling apps. So I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how you can also use the Canva content planner feature to schedule your content out. 
So in order to use the content planner in Canva, you just have to go to your main page and click content planner um, because this is a demo account. Therefore, I don't have any anything planned out yet, but just wanted to show you how it works. To schedule a post, you have to choose the day that you want post to go out and click the plus button on the top right corner and then choose the design that you want to schedule. For the demonstration purposes, I'm going to click this one. Then it's going to ask you what channel you want to schedule the post for. You can choose Instagram. This is a JPEG, so I would choose the JPEG and this is the second page and you can write caption there as well. So I'm going to just put a random demo caption just to demonstrate. You can also change the time or the day of the post as well. So you just need to click this button here and change the time. For example, I want to change it to 10 a.m. and then click done. Um, once everything looks good, you can just click schedule post. As you can see, once the post is successfully scheduled, it's going to show up in that day. You can choose to schedule multiple posts and multiple channels within the same day. All you have to do is just click the plus button and then um, choose a post and then do the same thing again. So you can choose a post for your LinkedIn channel and then write the caption, change the day and then schedule the post. Voila. So I have a post schedule for Instagram and on LinkedIn. So they're both here. Again, the content planner is an exclusive feature for Canva Pro users only. And like I said, if you're someone like me who's a social media manager or if you use Canva a lot for design purposes, then it's kind of a no brainer to upgrade from Canva free to Canva Pro. But if you're still not convinced, use the link in my description box to get yourself a 30 day free trials to try it out. Now at this point, you might be wondering can Canva also auto post IG Reels? Unfortunately, I haven't found any tools on the market that will actually allow you to schedule and auto post IG Reels. So what I do instead um, is I just saved all of my drafts inside Instagram. And when it comes to time of posting and I just post them directly from Instagram. But very importantly, and I think you should definitely take note of this point is I also make sure that I save a clean copy of each IG Reel so that I'm able to repurpose them on TikTok or YouTube short or something else. It does take a little bit of manual work to post Instagram Reels, like I said, because there hasn't been any scheduling tools on the market to schedule and auto post it for you yet. Hopefully there will be soon, but because everything else are scheduled out, I'm able to carve out more time to do this type of manual work. But hopefully one day I'll be able to schedule Instagram Reels. Now, so far in this video, we went over my entire content creation process and how to speed up your content workflow so that you can post more consistently and grow your followings on Instagram faster. But what I've learned is that no matter how much experience you have in content creation or how much you know about social media strategies, it's kind of pointless if you don't know how to turn it into a business and get high paying clients through it. So if you want to learn how to take this video a step further to start building a profitable social media media management business and get your services booked out consistently, then make sure to check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching program at www.socialnomadacademy.com. You'll have access to the entire A to Z blueprint, live lessons, worksheets, templates, and resources for building a successful social media management business so that you can travel and work from anywhere while making consistent online income that you deserve. So hit the link in my description box and let's make you a digital nomad entrepreneurial dreams come true. Before I see you in my next video, check out my other videos here and head to my channel for more social media or digital nomads video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.